Let's play Donald Trump's uh, commercial from yesterday. It's his official commercial, cut number 33. Jay Trump, and I approve this message. This is America's border czar, and she's failed us. Under Harris, over 10 million illegally here. A quarter of a million Americans dead from fentanyl. Brutal migrant crimes. And ISIS now here. Do you have any plans to visit the border? You haven't been to the border. And I haven't been to Europe. I mean, I don't understand the point that you're making. Kamala Harris failed. Weak, dangerously liberal. Failed, weak, dangerously liberal. Well, failed, weak, and dangerously liberal Kamala Harris went to Atlanta yesterday. Here's what she was talking about, Cut 26. We who believe in the freedom to live safe from gun violence will finally pass universal background checks. We who believe in reproductive freedom will stop Donald Trump's extreme abortion bans and when Congress passes a law to restore reproductive freedoms, as President of the United States, I will sign it into law. Now, of course, such a law is not going to pass and such a law shouldn't pass. As the Supreme Court said, it's really a matter for the states. But... There are spending clause ways around that. But just so you know, she's coming after your guns. She wants unrestricted access to abortion everywhere. Cut number 27. You may have noticed. So last week, you may have seen, he pulled out of the debate in September he had previously agreed to. Here's the funny thing about that. So he won't debate, but he and his running mate sure seem to have a lot to say about me. I, I, I find it very amusing, this voice. This is not a winsome appeal. Cut number 28. We who believe in the freedom to live safe from gun violence will finally pass universal background checks. All right, so note that she's going right after the hard left with this position, which does not fly in places like Georgia. I don't understand it. Then she put on a weird accent, cut 29. And you all helped us win in 2020, and we're going to do it again in 2024. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. That's Kamala last night. The more we see of her, the least, uh, less I worry about her. But again, no overconfidence, please. Let's play her tarmac answer on Israel striking in Beirut. This was before Israel struck in Tehran. Cut number 30. Uh, all of that being said, we must work to end these attacks. Israel's got to stand down. Uh, Israel is out of its, you know, they're just going to act indifferently to the United States. Joe Biden has no capacity. Kamala Harris has no common sense. It's not up to the Democratic ticket to tell Israel what to do or not to do, and they're not going to pay any attention.